Welcome to GETV. Today I will be showing you how to do the basic startup of a Hitachi WJ200 series drive. When changing the parameters and or operating the drive, it is strongly recommended to be done so by a qualified and experienced electrician. The demo I have here today simulates a control terminal and is not included in a drive package. Out of the box, the WJ200 is configured for local operation based off the digital operating keypad and with a basic set of parameters. For plugging in my nameplate data, I will need to unlock the full set of parameters. I can press the escape button until I get to the B parameter group. Then I will use the arrow keys to scroll to B37. I will push set to enter the edit mode to change the parameter. The default value is a 4 and I will change this to a 0 and push set to save. I can now access all the parameters. For easier parameter access, I can press both arrow keys together. This will allow me to change the individual digits. Next, I will go to the B parameter set, then press the set key to change the digit on the right. With the single digit edit mode, the set key moves the edit digit to the right, and the escape key moves the digit to the left. I will change this to B012, and then press set past the last digit on the right. Here is where I can plug in my motor's amps. The rating of the motor should be 20 to 100% of the drive's current, which can be found on the side of the drive. I will next scroll to A082 to input my motor voltage. This is currently set to 200 volts. I can match this to the motor nameplate data 230 and then push set to continue. I will next go to H004 to put in the number of poles for the motor. The RPM can be used as a reference with 3600 being 2 poles, 1800 being 4 poles, 1200 being 6 poles, and 900 being 8 poles. These numbers are assuming a 60 Hz motor commonly found in the US. I will leave this with the default value of 4 for an 1800 RPM. I can also set H003 if I wanted to change my motor's capacity. This value is in kilowatts and with many North American motors, the value will need to be converted from horsepower by multiplying the HP by 0.745. Now I will head to A03 to see my base frequency. I would like to keep this at the default value of 60 Hz. Other important basic features can include F002 and F003 for the acceleration and deceleration speed of the motor on start and stop. The drive operator's mode can also be changed by going to A044. Here I can set the drive for variable torque, constant torque, or sensorless vector. The drive is ready to start. I will go to F001 and press set to edit the output frequency value. I can use the up and down arrows to change to my desired speed and then press run. I can also use the arrow keys to adjust the speed while in operation. To stop the motor, I will press the stop key. It might be needed to wire the drive up to an external controller. Once the drive has been wired properly, I can go to A002 to change the location of the run command. Currently, it is set to run off the keypad. I will change this to 01 for control terminal. I will press set to save. Next, I will go to A001 to change the location of the speed reference. Since my demo case has a speed pod, I will change the setting here to 01. For more custom options, please consult the Hitachi manual for a further detailed list of parameters. Once my reference has been changed to a control terminal, I can flip a switch to initiate a run command and adjust the speed with the potentiometer. Hitachi WJ200 series AC drives along with thousands of other products and services 
are available at galco.com.